ہی از کال دے کلا لا ناؤ اف ہی ہیز اے وائف وائف ول گیٹ ون فورتھ ٹو ہوم شیل تھری فورتھ گو وائف کین گیٹ اونلی ون فورتھ ٹو ہوم ول تھری فورتھ گو ٹو دی بردرز اینڈ سسٹرس دے آر کال زویل ارحام زویل فرائز زویل فرائز آر اونلی تھری پیرنٹس فادر مدر گروپ ٹوگیدر اینڈ دی پروجنی سنز اینڈ ڈاٹرس اینڈ وائف اینڈ ہسبینڈ دے آر زویل فرائز دے آر پورشنز ان دی انہیریٹنس آر فکسڈ بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ان ہز بک ان دی سیکنڈ سیکشن آف سورت النساء ان ویری پروفاؤنڈ آیات اونلی ٹو آیات اینڈ اٹ گیوز دی فل اٹ لا آف انہیریٹنس Now, if something remains, or in this case, when there are no parents, they had already died, there are no children surviving, maybe they were, they died before the death of this person, or he was issueless. Now, if there is a wife, she will get one-fourth, three-fourth will go where? And if the, the wife also doesn't exist, then who will inherit? The brothers and the sisters. Now what will happen? These brothers and sisters will behave just as sons and daughters behaved in the law of inheritance. What is it? If there was one son, he would inherit the whole. If one daughter, she would inherit half. If two or more than two daughters, they will be equally divided between them in the two-third. Such law was given in the beginning. And that is the same case for the real brothers and sisters. There in the second section, the commandment was given for akhlafi, step brothers and sisters. And I told you that in Arabic custom, when father is common, irrespective of whether the mother is also common or mothers are different, they are called real brothers. They are equal in status, no difference. Although there are two terms, aini. Any are those where father and mother are both common. Allati. Allati are those brothers and sisters who have a common father but different mothers. The third is Akhlafi. Mother is common, fathers are different. Akhlafi. So if they are Akhlafi brethren or sisters or brothers, the law is given in the very beginning in the second section of Surah An-Nisa. But people were bewildered. What about the real ones? So this real one is given here. وَلَهُ وَلَدٌ وَلَهُ أُخْتٌ فَلَهَا نِصْفُ مَا تَرَكُ Just as a single daughter could have inherited only half, so if a single sister is there, real, any or allati, she will inherit only half. وَهُوَ يَرِسُهَا إِلَّمْ يَكُلْ لَهَا وَلَدُ And if a woman dies without any olad, without any progeny and parents, And he has a, as she has a brother, brother will inherit full whole of it. Just as the son, you know, if he was alone, the only son, he would have inherited the whole of it. So if there is only one brother, he will have the total inheritance. If the sister, then half. فَإِنْ كَانَ تَسْنَتَيْنِ فَلَهُمَ سُلُسَانِ If they are only sisters and they are two or more than two, then you know they will have two-third. مِمَّا تَرَكْ or whatever he has left. وَإِنْ كَانُوا إِخْوَةً وَرِجَالًا وَنِسَانًا And if there are brothers and sisters both, فَلِزَّكَرَ مِسْلُ حَزُّلُ سَيَيَنْ The same wordings with which that law started. يُسِيكُمُ اللَّهُ فِي أَوْلَادِهِ لِزَّكَرَ مِسْلُ حَزُّلُ سَيَيَنْ So if there are brothers and sisters, now the whole thing will be divided according to that rule that for each male will be the portion equal to two females. يُبَيَّنُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ أَن Allah is making it, explaining it clearly to you, lest you should go astray. Although you could deduce it from there also. Allah had not gone into detail because you could use your own intellect to understand it. But because you couldn't understand it, and it may be that you might commit a mistake, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it clear that that order or commandment or instruction was for akhlafi brothers and sisters. For Ainis, for Allatis, where, where a father is common, the same law will apply as is the law about the sons and daughters. Anta dillu, yubayyinu allahu lakum anta dillu, wallahu bi kulli shayin alim. And verily Allah, Allah knows everything. 
بارک اللہ علی و لکم فی القرآن العظیم و نفعنی و ایاکم بالآیات و ذکر الحکیم اللہ اکبر The Islamic Organization of North America, IONA, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at tanzeem.us or call our toll-free number, 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.